It is very hard to find a good defender who is strong and good with the ball. Very hard. Baggio is a unique player. It should not surprise you that he gets the most press, but you must remember that it takes a full team to win. I started playing when I was 10 for Milan, and I quit when I was 41, so it's a long, long career. I was fortunate enough to be with Milan for 25 splendid years. When I arrived, I found a great foundation to build a great club. Milan is not just a team for me, it is part of my life. I did boxing for three years, and that was very nice. It's a hard but great, great sport. I really love the training aspect of it. You cannot choose your opponents. Galliani is a great leader, but can't understand players. Liverpool are a team that have no fear. I think Milan lack a bit of renovation and planning for the future. Too often, they focused only on the present, particularly after the 2007 Champions League triumph. We are glad not only to bring a professional soccer team to Miami, but also to support all of its communities through our social responsibility commitment. I have great respect for the Premier League, but why leave Milan? I've got everything I want here. You simply can't judge a team's football from the country it comes from. There's nothing unusual about serving the same employer for 23 years. San Siro is a tricky stadium. If you have the right personality, it helps you. But if you don't have the right personality, it can be very hard to play in San Siro. My father instilled in me the need to behave correctly on and off the pitch. Milan has no reservations signing veteran players and has always taken into account the image and communication factors. Miami has been my second home for 15 years, so I look forward to spending more and more time here as co-owner of Miami FC, giving my enthusiastic contribution for its success. I got the chance to play the sport that I love, which was football, successfully for 25 years. Life has been great for me. My teammate Franco Bersi was a real captain. He was an example for everyone, not a big talker. He never talked, but on the field or in training, he was number one. I love sport and I play to keep myself fine in the mind because it helps there. Sergio Ramos has everything to become the best defender in the world if he is not already. I will not play a farewell game with the national team. I would like to thank the Federation for expressing an interest, but I prefer to leave football with an official match because I am not a fan of farewell games. San Siro is a historic stadium. It's nice, but it doesn't offer comfort. I like to play aggressive. I won my first Champions League in 1989, and I won my last one 18 years later. I have a great relationship with the fans. They love me. They have always shown that. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a football player, so I achieved my dream. I had my father on the under-21 team and during the World Cup in France in 1998 and also in AC Milan for four months. So it was a weird experience 
because having your father as a coach is pretty weird, and I was the captain, but he was great. My father used to give me a lot of advice. I was lucky enough to play against Maradona. He and Ronaldo, when he was at Inter Milan, they were my toughest opponents. I don't like the idea of being a coach. My father was a coach, so there was a lot of moving around, not having a base. It's funny that as soon as I retired from international football, Italy won the World Cup. If you only sign the players of one FIFA agent, sometimes you can make the deal, sometimes you can't. Bringing in innovation and in youth is not a bad thing. It is a courageous choice. Sometimes when you have difficulties qualifying, you can still go and play a good World Cup. It would be great to lift the Champions League trophy. Too much tension can do bad things to you. Ahead of a semi-final, there is always the same buzz. You know you are very close to reaching the final, but there is no way you can relax because then you will be punished. Even though I am not going to coach in the future, if I had to pass on a recommendation, it would be to base your game on having a strong defense. Liverpool are a team that is essentially very defensive. Caution is at the heart of their game. Once Liverpool go ahead, they are dangerous because it becomes hard to find space to break them down, especially if you are not playing all that brilliantly. In the Champions League, you can focus on a single game and play in exactly the style you need. A rookie coach must be supported by a very strong structure and not get burned. To compete with the great teams in Europe, you have to invest money. There is no other way to reach that kind of level. In the 1990s, we had seven great teams, Milan, Inter, Juventus, Parma, Lazio, Roma, Fiorentina. If you look at the players, they were great players, but there was some crazy investment and some teams were bankrupt, like Parma and Lazio. I'm not working in football. Basically, I'm a father with two kids and taking some time for myself. I played for 25 years, and I believe I need some space for myself.